Hi there, Lee Griggs, Armored Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go over a quick making of this scene using the Toon Shader and the Clip Geo Shader. Okay, so I've got the head model here, and I've just changed the filter type to Contour for Toon Rendering. I'm going to start off by assigning a new Toon Shader to the head model. And I'm going to reduce the width scaling a little bit, 0.5, and reduce the angle threshold to 10, so we get more Toon edges. And I'm going to change the normal type to geometric normal, so we get some more two edges around his face and so on. Uh, I'm going to change the base weight to 0.5 and the emission to 0.5, just to lighten up a bit. And then just add a, a ramp RGB to the base tone map. Uh, set the interpolation to none for both, and just bring the white down here, like so. So that's the Toon Shader. So the object I've used here is the Apollo 11 Lunar Module. Uh, a lot of complexity, a lot of geometric objects that we can use to clip uh, the head model. So I'm going to select everything and export the selection and export the .ass file. And we go back to the head model just need to create an Arnold stand-in and then open up the Apollo.ass file that we just exported and then I'm going to sign a clip geo shader to that. As we move it to the side we can start to see the uh, the object clip in the head. So we just need to instance the stand-in many times. I'm going to use the mesh network to do that. Just check the options, make sure instance is enabled, otherwise Bash won't recognise the stand-in you'll think it is a mesh and it won't work, so just apply and close that. Change the distribution type to volume and increase the volume size. So now we're starting to see the stand-ins clipping the, the head geometry. Of course we can also change the seed value to uh, change the distribution of those stand-ins. Get some random clipping effects and then for final rendering you can always increase the number of points to get more complexity obviously it's going to take a lot longer to render so here's some variations using the seed value of the mesh network to randomly change the distribution of the standings okay thanks for watching and bye for now